What are these? Some weird robot animals. A bit creepy. Don't like the way they're looking at me. Oh, what are they doing? I think I'm safe now. No! Welcome to this new series I'm doing. I'll be going through different data packs I find on Planet Minecraft. You can find all relevant links in the description. To make it very clear, I did not make this data pack. I'm only making this showcase. Here are the three animatronics from Five Nights Phase 1. These are Bonnie, Freddy and Chica. By default they're in show mode, they have not yet been possessed by any spirits. You can use note blocks to make them start playing. Once powered, they have two modes, when the note is on one, it will have a different animation from any other note. Now, why would the animatronics do anything different? Because of the souls. You can allow the souls to possess the animatronics with soul sand. Once they become possessed, they'll twitch as if they were electrocuted. This resembles Glamrock Freddy shaking when possessed by Afton in Security Breach. After this, they'll start looking at you, but not attack you unless you get too close. They can wait or skip to midnight. Then the animatronics will start acting like hostile mobs. As you can see, the animatronic is three blocks tall. However, they have their way of getting around this. Freddy is the base animatronic and he does not have any custom abilities. He's very heavy, so he has knockback resistance and 70 hearts. Bonnie can storm his guitar to knock the player up. He does not perform the attack if you hit him during it, however this is hard to tie. Because he's a bunny, he has jump boost, and he only has 40 hearts. Chiku can throw cupcakes at people. These give you hunger. Like Bonnie, you can stop her attacks by hitting her, but the timing is as difficult. Because Chiku is a chicken, hence a bird, she has slow fall room. These animals for this can spawn in caves or anywhere that bats normally would. Water can be used to get the spirits out. The pack also contains Vanessa, who is a custom villager that sells animatronic plushes. These plush dolls can act as decorations. Vanessa spawns Natvian jungles, or anywhere parrots would not be spawn. This data pack also has a system where models get replaced with low quality models when you go far away. Personally, I don't see the point in this since they disappear anyway when out of the simulation distance or vent distance. This may reduce lag, I'm not personally sure. However, it's not something I would do. That's all the contents of the data pack, so now I'll start to analyse parts of it. You may notice that the resource pack is very large, or at least larger than you'd expect. This is because every frame of every animation is still in there. Since they're not loaded in by any JSON file, they do not actually lag the game in any way, they just affect the size of the resource pack. One way that lag could be mitigated is by changing how the animations work. Currently, the animated models have every cube being animated constantly, whereas it would be more efficient to have it so most cubes are just the same throughout while only some are animated. However, with certain tools this is impossible, so I can't criticise it because it may be a limitation of the tools that the creator is using. Another thing that's slightly increased in file size are the very accurate pivot points on some of the pieces, such as on the faces where some of the unrotated pieces are up to four decimal places on the pivot point. Whenever this happens, it's only a difference of a few bytes, however, as you go through each model, if it happens on every model, multiple times it could be into the kilobytes. This most likely doesn't matter, because a few kilobytes isn't really a big difference to the file size, so realistically you can just ignore this. The code is very clear and concise with functions being separated very well. This allows you to be able to go through the code and understand it, even if you don't have good understanding of Minecraft commands. Adding a custom mob to Minecraft is very difficult. And these models are very good, so they take a long time to make, and so are the animations. Because of this, I don't expect the project to be updated anytime soon. However, I would really like to see it be updated eventually to add things like Foxy, the toy animatronics, the Funtime animatronics, and possibly even Springlock suits you can wear. I'll leave all relevant links in the description, and hopefully the creator can make something like a Discord server so people can track the progress closely. Of course, don't pressure the creators to do anything or harass them in any way to make them work faster. Everyone has their own personal life and projects like this take a long time to make, so be patient.